Hey, Interweb, how you doing? Matt Sardo here. I got to talk to you about the Scarlet Witch. The Scarlet Witch is, uh, you need to stop what you're doing right now and get to the comic book store and grab yourself a copy. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I got to tell you today. Uh, I, I'm so impressed with this book. Steve Orlando and Sarah Pacelli, they put together something that's really special. The book is very emotional in its weight. Like I, I kind of say it's an Edgar Allan Poe, Charlotte Bronte feel to it, like a dark romance novel with emotion and fear. Like the modern aesthetic is beautiful. There's so many different things about this book that I loved so much. Uh, Pietro shows up, of course. It's an emotional story with action, not an action story with emotion. I don't know if that makes sense to you. Uh, but what I think the biggest thing is there's this concept of the last door in it. It almost sounds like when I read this to you, it, it sounds like the A-Team, but it's, it's, bad, it's way better than the A-Team. When someone has nowhere else to go, they open the last door, says Wanda. And then somebody comes through the last door and then they have their problem and they fix it. Uh, and Darcy's in this and she's come through the last door. And that, that's like a little thing that she, they don't know what the problem is. It's a little teaser right there. Uh, that was really fun. This book does so many things well. Pacelli does all these different close-ups with all the different characters. So you're never missing out on the emotion of what they're feeling. Like you, there's it's not tiny details in everybody's face. And you're like, oh man, I feel them so much. The emotion on the faces of the characters are also part of Matthew Wilson's colors. He compliments Sarah's work and, and highlights it. So when you see Pietro's blues in his eyes and like then how they color underneath the eyes and the expressions, it all pops out uh, because of the color and the artwork that is presented to you. Uh, it's, it's just done really well. I'm, I am so impressed with this book. I, I, it was on my radar and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this. And then I read it and I'm like, holy shit, I'm really excited for this book now. And then there's the final page reveal that kind of a plot twist or kind of a, a plot foil. I don't know. I don't go on Reddit if you don't get the book right away. Like it's definitely going to get spoiled on Reddit and people are going to have tons of theories and tons of all sorts of craziness about this book uh, on Reddit. So I would, I would definitely spoilers are going to be rampant again. That's why I said, go to your comic book store right now and go get it. For me, it's a must buy. Like I'm, I'm definitely going to my comic book store and picking it up. I'm probably going to do a panel breakdown too. It's, it's really good. It's really good. I'm so impressed. I, I'm really, and it takes a lot for me to be impressed with the comic book right now. But the concept, I, I kind of talk about this a little bit. You remember how like Peter Parker used to be this relatable character and we could all see ourselves in Peter Parker, you know, kid in high school, going through all these different problems. And we're like, oh, this is like everybody else's problems. He's just like us, but he has superpowers and has to deal with that too. Um, this is what I think of the Scarlet Witch is I think, it's on this level, relatability, but in the mental health spectrum. That's where I see it. I mean, the past two years, past three years have been just batshit crazy. And like we're all kind of like emotionally spent. And I think if we all had a last door, it kind of magnifies hope. You know, like it's the last door. Like you're in your darkest moments and, and you have this concept of a last door where like, okay, no matter how bad it gets, there's the last door or the last door comes find you like there is it's, it's so that means it doesn't get as dark as you think it could get because there's hope and there's hope that somebody will reach out and help you or you can go through this door and help yourself or, or find the people to help yourself like there's there's something there I'm not articulating it the best but the concept of the last door is very powerful it's ve and it hits it hits right now like after everything we've gone through, the world has gone through what we're continuing to go through, just the pure craziness of the world. This concept of the last door is perfect for now. And, and I only like, give major props to uh, Steve for coming up with this concept and, and Sarah for visualizing it. And you got Wilson for dropping the colors and, and then the Corey Petit on the letters, like everything works on this. And I'm really excited to see where they go with this series. So get to your comic book store and get the Scarlet Witch right now.